Welcome back everybody to another DVD Blu-ray VHS update. Yes, I have been going on a video movie buying spree recently. Uh, I've been going to flea markets, pawn shops, Walmarts, FYEs. Uh, just buying a bunch of random stuff that I'm, I'm trying to complete my collection with. Um, I've recently had it in my mind that I'm going to try to get every single, every single movie that I've ever watched. And every TV show that I've ever watched. I want to own a copy of it. Uh, I know I'll probably never ever in my entire life finish that, but... It's just something that I'll, I'm working on. Uh, but I did pick up a lot of stuff this past week. Um, I, I know it's only been like, it might have even been a week, uh, less than a week since my last update. But over the past few days, like within the past three days, I've just been buying movies and stuff at these places. So um, I got about another 15 titles here to go over. Uh, so why not go ahead and get started? Uh, the first one I got here is Nurse 3D Blu-ray. And I did watch this, by the way, and I did not like this at all. I thought this movie was extremely boring, uh, uninteresting, and the only thing good about it was that the quality of it looked pretty good. It was well made, but other than that, the movie itself was just uh, it was it was just uninteresting, and I could not get into this movie whatsoever. People have that I, that I've talked to that have watched this movie uh, say that it's really really good, and you know it was one of the best female killers in a long time. I completely disagree with all any of those statements. I did not like this at all. Only watch this movie if you're interested in um, a killer nurse. That's the only thing. Um, aside from that, I cannot recommend this movie to anybody. Uh, the next Blu-ray I picked up... Oh, knocking stuff over here. Uh, the next Blu-ray I picked up is uh, Sleepaway Camp from uh, Scream Factory. Now, I'm not sure if I got this sent early or not. Um, I don't know if the actual date was coming out this week or if it was last week. But anyways, I did get Sleepaway Camp. Uh, in the mail, so um, there we go, Sleepaway Camp. Uh, the next DVD that I picked up is Jimmy Fallon, uh, SNL, The Best Jimmy Fallon. I've, I've been going through and watching a lot of um, Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon ever since he started Tonight Show. Really love Jimmy Fallon, I think he's absolutely hilarious. Um, so I wanted to uh, pick up his SNL stuff. I never really got into SNL whenever uh, it was, when he was on, but... I figured why not go through and try to watch some of it, see if I still like it. Okay, something else I picked up. Uh, this is another non-horror related title, but um, it is Leave it to Beaver. It is a, a 19, uh, 1990s, sometime in the 90s, uh, made-for-TV movie remake of the TV show. Uh, I remember watching it as a kid, so it was it was really cheap, so I picked it up on DVD. I, used, I recently... Picked up a VHS a couple of months ago, but I just now picked up the DVD to replace the VHS copy. Alright, up next um, is another non-horror film, uh, and it is Austin Powers in Gold, uh, Gold Member. And the only reason I picked it up was to replace my VHS copy. And the next two titles I got here, I picked up specifically um, to pretty much add a... Uh, titles into uh, the franchise. I, I like to, I'm like. i a completist, so if a movie comes out and I own the movie or I like the movie or whatever, and it has sequels that, made, that are made for it, I like to pick up the sequels as well, even if they're not very good. But the first one I picked up here is uh, Boogeyman 2, and the next one is Boogeyman 3. Now, I know that these movies are probably not very good, but... Um, Whatever. Uh, I'll give them a shot sometime during uh, during Halloween time and see see if they're any good at all. I mean, I find myself liking some cheap generic sequels to movies anyway, so maybe I'll like them. Uh, the next I picked up is a VHS, or all VHSs for the rest of these. Um, there's a place at my local flea market that has like just stacks and stacks and stacks and boxes and boxes of VHS tapes. And I go through there about once a week, uh, maybe once every two weeks, and he gets uh, a few new titles in. Uh, so he's been trying to pick out some horror films from people to, to have there for me when I get there. Uh, and um, I got lucky this week. There is, uh, there's about three horror films that he picked up for me. First one is Hider in the House. And this one actually stars Gary Busey. Um, so I figured I would pick this one up. I've never seen this movie, but I remember the cover art uh, in local video stores when I was a kid. So, I'm interested to check this out, especially since it's got Gary Busey in it. Up next is a movie, surprisingly, that I don't have yet because uh, I love killer animal flicks. That is uh, Willard. Uh, I've got the original on, on VHS. Um, 
but I do not, and I've got the sequel to it as well, Ben, but I never have seen nor owned the remake. So I finally decided to pick it up here, uh, Willard. Uh, this next one that I got, um, the only reason I picked it up, I already have a VHS copy of this, but I picked it up for collector's reasons just because. Um, this is I Come in Peace. Now I know this is being put out by Scream Factory as uh, on Blu-ray as Dark Angel, but the reason I picked this up was because it has one of those um, flipper um, cases to it. And I've, I, every time I come across one of these, I always feel like I should pick it up just because. Uh, but I thought it, I think they're just really cool to have. And uh, the other VHS tape I have is a different cover art and everything too. So, you know, adds to my collection. So that is I Come in Peace. And it also has a bunch of special features uh, right here as well, which VHS to have uh, special features is a rarity anyway. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the rest of these, uh, let's see, I have a lot of non-horror titles here. Uh, let's go ahead and get the last horror theme title that I have. Uh, this is Chillers the Series, hosted by uh, Anthony Hopkins, um, or Anthony Perkins, Anthony Hopkins, uh, Anthony Perkins, um, and the story is Under a Dark Angel's Eyes. Uh, I've never actually seen Chillers the Series, I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. And uh, this is just one story from the series. I have no idea how long the series lasted, but what Anthony Hopkins, Anthony Perkins. Uh, sorry about that. I'm a little tired. Anthony Perkins hosting a horror themed uh, series. So why not pick it up? All right. The next one of these, uh, all the rest of them I have are non horror titles. So if you're not interested in the rest of these, uh, Feel free to click off right now, but the rest of them are just non-horror and family titles and everything like that that I'm adding just uh, for collectible reasons and uh, reasons because I have seen the movies before, so I want to own them just because I've seen them. Uh, first up is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, Food Fight. Uh, I love picking up the, uh, the I think there's like four or five of these uh, plus a, a special five set Green Ranger thing or something like that. I like to try to get all these things. It's cool to have as in the collection. Uh, next up is Major League. Um, I'm a fan of family, family baseball films, family sports movies, or whatever. I, I don't know why, but I really kind of like these like sport comedy movies, especially uh, the family ones. Like I, I really like the like the Disney ones and stuff. Those are always interesting to me. Um, then I picked up its sequel, Major League Two. And I picked up its third film in the series, Major League 3, Back to the Miners. I've never seen 2 or 3, so I'm really looking forward to check them out. I know the first one was rated R, and the, the, the second one was rated PG, and this one's rated PG-13. Uh, which is weird that they would do that in the franchise like that. But, um, anyways, that is all three of the Major League films. Uh, next up is a movie I'd never heard of before, but it was put out by Prism on VHS. And it is The Serpent of Death. And it's got Jeff Fahey in it, so I figured I'd pick it up. It seems to be like a cool action adv adventure movie. So that is The Serpent of Death. Next up is a Disney title that I used to like when I was a kid. Uh, again, it was another one of those sports kind of films. And it is The Luck of the Irish. It usually comes on um, anytime that uh, March is around. So... I, I very rarely get a chance to watch this movie. I'm not even sure if it's on DVD or not. But I thought I'd pick up the VHS because I've never came across any other way except for watching it on TV. So that just adds to my collection there for my, uh, my films that I used to watch when I was a kid. Uh, the next one I picked up is another family film, um, Gunther and the Paper Brigade. Uh, this is also known as just the Paper Brigade. This actually has Robert England in it. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I picked it up. I've never actually seen the movie. But I do know that it has Robert England in it. I always remember hearing that it had him in it. And that's the reason I always wanted to try to check it out. I just never got around to doing so. So I figured why not I'd pick it up. And the last one that I got is The Real Jurassic Park. Uh, this is a sealed unopened copy. And it's pretty much like a documentary about finding fossils and stuff. And digging up dinosaur bones. Um, I, I've never seen it. I, I'm guessing it aired on... Um, Probably like Discovery Channel or something like that, but the documentary is made by Universal. I'm not even sure if this is a doc if a bonus feature on like the the Jurassic Park set or not, but I figured I'd pick it up since it was it just seems like something that was really cool. 
All right, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching another video, and um, maybe here in a few more days. I know I have a few more packages.